Hello, everyone. When you guys uh, hop on, say hello. Let me know where you are from. I'll give everybody a few minutes. Um, when you guys hop on, if you could please like and share this video, I would totally appreciate it. If you guys are watching the replay, uh, hashtag replay. So, hey, Summer. So I'm usually not on during the day only because I have kids. My youngest gets home from school at 11 in the morning because he's in half a day kindergarten. So it's kind of hard. And then I'm probably going to have all of the kids here soon because my other son's about to get off the bus. And so, so how are you? So it is like so hot in my room. I had like the air conditioner on and we like, it gets so hot upstairs that we have like the air conditioner units and they're so loud. <laughs> so, and I had to turn it off cause you guys wouldn't be able to hear me. So please like and share this video and I am going to get started shortly. Um, I'm gonna show everybody like how to do a quick cheetah hack and then um, I wanna do like a glitter eyeshadow. I usually don't wear glitter eyeshadow, but I thought like it'd be fun. Summer's coming. So um, I just wanted to mess around with like some bright colors. So uh, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Kim. Um, welcome to my page, Oliva Moore. I am an artist with Saint Beauty. And um, if you guys are interested in the makeup that I will be using, uh, you can fill out my color match form, which is in the description box of this video. Um, <clears throat> all the makeup that I use is cream based. Okay, so these are my highlight colors. I'm not gonna use all three highlight colors today, but these are my highlight colors. And then I have um, my contour color, and this is my bronzer, and then I have, uh, two lip and cheek colors, which work as your blush and as your lipstick. Okay, hey, Nicole. Um, and then I have um, my setting powder. I have two illuminators, powder illuminators that can also be used as eyeshadow. And then I have some of my eyeshadow and then I have my brush uh, cleaning tile. Hey. So this is my compact. Everything is cream based, okay? And this makeup is amazing for mature skin. Um, it's a cream makeup, so it sits nicely on top of your skin. It doesn't clog your pores, doesn't sit, um, sit into your fine lines or wrinkles, okay? So, and also everything is magnetic. The compacts are magnetic, okay? They come in these little tins. Um, this is, an illuminator. This is rose gold. Now I just ordered this and um, let me show you how you guys fit in. So when you guys want a color or you run out of a color, you just like pop it right in here. Just like that. It's magnetic. It's not going anywhere. Hey. So I actually never ordered um, this, this is rose gold illuminator. I've never ordered it actually only because I have all of our perfumes. Okay. So our perfumes are cream also, but they also have the rose gold illuminator in them. So we have a couple, four different, um, perfumes and they're all in here. They're also magnetic. You can put them in your compact. So I've never actually ordered, uh, the rose gold illuminator because this has the rose gold in there. So, but I was like, eh, why not? Cause like, I don't always like to wear like perfume, like on my face. A lot of girls do. They even put it like on the tip of their nose so they can smell it all day. But usually they just put it on their, uh, like their collarbone or wherever you guys want. So, um, but that is that. And if you guys are interested in this makeup, you can fill out my color match form and I would be happy to, um, color match you guys. So, I'm just gonna do a quick cheetah hack today because I want to play with some eyeshadows. Okay, so first I'm going to start with our setting spray. Our setting spray is really good for uh, a primer. 
So if you guys use a primer, you do not need one with this makeup, but if you do, please make sure that it is water-based, okay? Because if it has silicone in it, it does not work with this makeup. It just makes it like slippery and it slides all over. It just doesn't blend right. So our setting spray though is really good for a primer. Thank you, thank you so much for sharing. So I just started using this as my primer and I really like it. Now you don't need one, but with summer coming and everything and you know, it, it doesn't hurt. So I'm first going to put this on my Perfector sponge. So the Perfector sponge, what you wanna do is you wanna get this wet, you wanna like squeeze it under the water a couple times, wring it out, make sure there's no water. You can wrap it in a towel, get all the water out of there. So you just want it cold. Okay, so I'm just going to spray my Perfector sponge and then I'm just going to dab this all over my face. Okay, a little bit. And now I don't have any makeup on, but I do have um, mascara on and I got it all over my lid too. So <laughs> I was like struggling earlier with my, uh, with my mascara. Okay, so here, it, there's that, okay? Yeah, these are only like $14, I love it. I like, I never, I mean, I always use the Perfector sponge, but I never used the, the setting spray with it um, for my primer. Um, the Perfector sponge is also really good because like a lot of times when people first start using this makeup, there's no mistakes with this makeup, okay? But a lot of people, their first time using it, they tend to use a little bit too much. So the Perfector sponge, what that does, it helps push in the makeup and then it helps blend it. And as it's like blending, it's taking off all the excess makeup. So that's like, it's really good to have too, especially if you're just starting out. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this dry for a second. Okay, and I haven't done like a cheetah hack in like a really a long time. So I'm kind of like, I'm kind of excited. <laughs> so again, these are my highlight colors and I'm not gonna use all three. I'm just gonna use the two. And then I'm just gonna use one of my contour colors. We have different size palettes. Um, this is the double decker. We also have a triple decker, but uh, I'm just gonna use this one today. So you, when I color match you, you're going to get two, at least two different highlight colors, okay? So the darkest one is for any redness or like blemishes or like, see, I have like this spot right here. I don't even know what it is. It's not even like a pimple, <laughs> but um, yes. Mm -hmm. um, like I just sprayed like the butt end. <laughs> of the this for my setting spray so like I put that and then when I use my perfector I use like this part and then like I'll go back in and like blend it to like when I'm ready to set my makeup to kind of like set it as I'm doing this or you can like just spray your your face but like the only thing I don't like about spraying it directly on my face is that it gets a little sticky like in my hair so unless you have your, your hair back or you don't mind like then you'll be good so your darkest highlight color is going to be for the any darker darker areas or redder areas of your face, okay? And then you have um, like your brightener, so any areas that you want to brighten, okay? And then your contour is going to go in the natural shadows of your face. It's really good for like slimming your face, um, lifting your cheekbones, and things like that. And then I have my, my uh, lip and cheek colors, okay? And then my uh, illuminator here. So I am going to get started and I'm gonna show you guys how quick this makeup is, okay? So you're just gonna put the light where the light goes and the dark where the dark goes. And then you just like blend it all together. Okay, so I am going to, I guess I'll start with my contour. I'm gonna use this color here. This color is um, indigo. Okay, I got a little bit of my highlight in there. So your contour, literally, there you go. Because I am just doing like a cheetah hack. So if you guys are in a rush, like this makeup is just so good because it's, 
it's so quick. It's so convenient. The simplicity of it is just like, unlike anything else. So if you guys have never heard of this makeup, please like reach out to me. Like I would love to color match you, get you guys started, be the first of your friends to try this makeup. Okay. And if you want to do like your jawline, okay. Now when you do that, you don't want to look up because no one looks up at you like this. Okay. But this is just really good for like slimming your face. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So that is my contour. Cheekbones, forehead, under the jawline. Okay. You can contour your nose too if you want. I really don't like to, but um, if you guys, I do have another video on that where I do contour uh, my nose. So you guys can watch that if you want. So now I'm going to go in with my darker highlight color. This is June. Okay. So this is literally just going to go on any areas where I have darkness or redness. Okay. Typically your cheeks right under your eyes. Okay. A little bit on my chin and I do have some right here on the sides of my nose. Okay. And then this color is white peach. So I am going to put this basically in any of the other areas that I did not put my contour or my, uh, my other highlight color. Okay. And then I'll show you guys too a little, a little trick when I'm done. Now, I usually um, don't put my blush on <laughs> when I do this, so but I'm gonna do it anyway because um, I like to blend first and then put it on. But what the heck, I'm gonna try it. So this color is nude. Nude is one of the most popular um, uh, blushes. You're going to just apply this basically like right above your contour, your apple, the apples of your cheeks, okay? So we'll just see how this goes, okay? Now that is that. Now this is also good. If you guys wanna share this out because it's gonna to get to the good part and everybody loves this part. So I'm gonna show you how simple and easy that it is. So, um, as I'm doing this, it's warming up to my, my face, okay? So it's warming up, it's making it easier to blend. I like to blend with the blush and bronzer brush. It just, it's one of my favorite brushes. It's my favorite brush to blend with. So I'm gonna take the smaller end, okay? And I am just going to press, okay? Just press and blend, okay? So I'm telling you, if you guys are like literally like in a rush, this makeup is totally for you. It was designed to be quick. Okay. Look at this. The whole point of contour is to give your face depth and dimension. Okay. Look at that. Do you see how nice that blended out? Oh my gosh, I love it. Just like this. And then my contour. Okay, I like to press. You can do circular motions if you want. Okay, whatever works for you guys, okay? So like this, it's so simple. Literally, you just have to put the colors where they go and blend it, okay? This is very good for mature skin, okay? Look at that. It's so pretty. Yes, it is. It's so quick, so quick. I love it. Look at that. It is so pretty, I love it, okay? 
Now, like I said, like I like, I always like to blend and then go in with um, my blush. But I already put my blush on, but I am going to put a little bit more because I do like this color here. This is Hollywood. Hollywood is amazing. It's like a light pink and it has little flecks of like gold in it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's so pretty. I love it. Okay, so I'm just gonna a little bit more. Seriously, you guys all need this color in your life. It's so beautiful. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to, look how quick that was. Now I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. Um, this is my bronzer right here. This is Bella bronzer. It's very sheer. It looks like really dark. Do not be alarmed. Okay. I promise you it is amazing. Okay. So you just want to put this in any areas that like you want to look bronzed. <laughs> a lot of people, um, like to put this over their blush. There are a lot of people that don't like blush, believe it or not. Like, I don't know. Um, they use this like as their blush. So you can absolutely do that. Okay. Look, it just like warms up the skin. Okay. And then what I like to do is like, I like to put my bronzer like with my contour and then just blend down my neck. Okay. Just like that. Just like that. It's so pretty. I love it. You guys all need Bella, especially with like summer coming. Um, if you guys needed like a new color match or you need like a darker highlight color, I can absolutely pick one out for you guys. And also you can just grab like some Bella and put it just like right over your contour just to kind of like darken it a little bit. Okay. I'm not a big fan of blush. I'm starting to get into it. Yeah, I... I love blush. I can't say that I don't. <laughs> I'm like obsessed. But now I'm going to take my perfector sponge. Okay. So I am just going to. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. So I'm just taking off like any excess product. Okay. Just like this. Okay. Look at that. Yes, Matthew? My, my son's in here. Okay, so. Now I'm going to, if you guys like want like this like extra step. So this color I have here is called linen. Okay, so I am just going to put this just like this. Okay. You guys do not have to do this. Okay. And this just kind of gives you like, I don't know, the appearance that like you're awake because if you have children like me and you're tired, <laughs> it's like an instant eye lift. Okay, so that color was linen. Okay, just like that. Gorgeous. Put a little bit more on my chin. I've been using my yeah and see like that's like one of the things like I love like when you run out of a color um I'm just putting more of my uh June here um you just have to grab like each tin is like $14 it does last you like a while come on stop okay and that is that. Now I'm going to, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows a little bit. Okay. So now I am going to go in with um, this color here. This color is coal. Okay. So it is an eyeshadow, but I also like to use it to fill in my eyebrows. So to fill in your eyebrows, look, this, okay. So this is the, um, 
the line brush. Sorry, I like forgot what it was called for a second. So like I love this for your eyebrows because look, it's like literally like the width of it. And then when you drag it like the tail down, it slants. So it kind of like pretty much like does that for you. So like now you know like how like wide I guess you should go. But some people like um, like a fuller eyebrow. I, I don't like like too, too full. So first I'm just gonna like draw my lines, one on the top, okay? And then drag it down. And then, oh, and when you guys go in with your eyeshadows, always tap it so that you don't have any fallout. Okay. And it's always like hard to do this on camera. So just because like I use my phone as a mirror, as you guys know. Got some on there, that's okay. So. And then I just wanna like bring it in a little bit more. And then kinda like do like these hair like strokes just to fill in. I like the powders. You guys can use your contour too for your eye for your to fill in your eyebrows. I like the powders only because I like both, but I like the powders better only because it's like more of like a natural look. Okay. Just like that. See that like you just do like hair like strokes. Okay. Look at that. So it's like it's done. It's I cannot fill in eyebrows. Okay. I've never filled in my eyebrows until I started using this makeup. And it's just it makes it so much easier. So again, you just do a line on the top and the color that I'm using is coal in case I didn't say that and then a line on the bottom and then you just fill it in then bring it in more Hey, Jessica. So I'm just filling in my eyebrows right now. Okay. And then if you ever, like, I, I don't like my eyebrows, like, too thick. But if you ever go in, you can always just go in with the brush and, like, clean it up. Okay. There you go. <laughs> you did. It's okay. So there we go. That is that. All right. Seriously, I like, I don't like filling in my eyebrows, but I like doing it with like this makeup just because it's like, I feel like I can do it better. I can't use a pencil. I've tried a pencil before many times and it just doesn't like really work out for me. So there you go. That is that. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do my, uh, my, my glitter eyes. Where's my, I got my brush, oh here it is. All right, so I don't have, 
Oh, you did? Oh, good. I don't have anything on my eyes except for mascara, but I'm just going to like, this is the buff brush. And I am just going to put a little bit of my highlight color over my eyes just because I have like so much redness, okay? Just to kind of uh, give me that like even base. I probably should have done this before I did my eyebrows, but it's okay. Yes, Matthew? Yeah, you can have that. I'm like trying to do this without like ruining my eyebrows and um, my mascara. Okay. Our highlights are really good for like your eye, um, your eyeshadow primer in case anybody uses like a, a primer. Okay. So, and then I'm gonna go in and brighten under my eyes too after I am finished um, with my eyeshadow because I'm probably going to have some fallout. So, now I'm going to take my, this is the eyeshadow brush, okay? So I'm gonna use the fluffier end and I always go in with, with Cupcake because I just love it so much tap your brush. I guess it really doesn't matter with cupcake just because it's so, it's so light. I apologize if you can hear my child. Okay. You don't have to go in with cupcake. I don't know. I, I always do. It's just like this habit that I have. I don't know. It like literally matches my skin perfectly because I'm so, I'm so pale, but. So here is Cupcake all over. Okay. Now, I'm still gonna use um, the same fluffy side and I'm going to go in with this color here. This one is basic, okay? So again, tap your brush. And then when you do your crease color, especially if you have hooded eyes, do not close your eye to do it, okay? The reason is because if you do that, like you put your crease color, when you open your eye, you're not gonna be able to see it. So it's just best to do it um, with your eyes open, okay? No, she didn't uh, send them out yet um, because it was like a holiday weekend or whatever and the post office was closed on um, Monday, Monday, yeah. Sunday and Monday, okay? So this, this is just my crease color and kind of like staying more focused to the outer corner, okay? So again, this color is basic. Make sure you tap, tap your brush out so you don't have any fallout, okay? Just like this. Yeah, well, you can use our lip and cheek colors as eyeshadow too, a lot of people do that. Okay, so here we go. Okay, there you go. So that's your crease color. Uh, again, this is called um, basic. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my Cold. This is what I used to fill in my eyebrows, and I'm gonna go very lightly. Um, let me see. I'm going to 
I'm gonna switch brushes. I don't have to, but I'm going to just because I have it. So this brush right here, this is called um, the smudge brush. Okay, so look, I have like a little bit of eyeshadow in here, but like that's why like I like this brush cleaning tile because you can literally like switch in between like shades and stuff like without having to like really like clean it and stuff. So now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna take the flatter side of the smudge brush and I'm going to lightly tap into um, coal. Okay. And I am going to start here, but I'm going to do my entire lid. Okay. Tap it. Make sure you tap. You don't want any fallout. Yes, the pink. This is glitter. Pink glitter. Tap. Start on the outer corner. I like this brush because it fits like perfect. It's right there. Okay. So now I like, I put it all over my entire lid. But I started here because I want like the outer corner to be just a little bit darker. Just a little bit, not much. Okay. Just like that. Now I am going to use the same brush. Okay, so I'm going to clean it off in my brush clean tile. Okay. Let me see what the pink glitter one's called. I forget. La La Land. So the pink glitter is La La Land. But I'm actually going to use... Um, is that what I want to do? I'm going to use this color here. This one is Soulmate. Okay. I tap it. And I'm going to put this all over my lid just right on top of that dark color um coal that's the glitter shop yes this one that i'm using now sorry this one is um sold me this one is la la land i didn't use that one yet okay okay I love this color. This is so pretty. So if you guys like, if you guys get like an eyeshadow that you're not like, that you're not really a fan of, you can always do this because like it changes the color. Like it makes it totally different. You know what I mean? Okay. So I put this all over again. This one is um, Soulmate. It's like um, like a peachy pink. It's more peach than pink. And it's like, it's shimmer. It is shimmery. Okay. So just like this. Again, if you guys are interested in any of this makeup, you guys can fill out my color match form. Um, that's in the description box of this video. And please like and share this video. Okay, if you guys aren't following my business page already, please do so. Okay. So that was Soulmate. Okay. Now I'm actually going to take this color here. This one is... Um, amazing it's a um what is it an illuminator okay but it's a powder so you can also use that as an eyeshadow 
and I am literally just going to put this like on the inner corner okay just like that Just to kind of like, I like it bright on the inner corner of my, of my lid, okay? And then you can, with your finger, this is glamazing still, just right there, okay? Right here. So do you see how that like just like opens up the eye a little bit? I love that. Okay. And then time for the fun part. Okay, so I am going to very lightly spray my finger with my uh with my setting spray. You guys can either use like I guess you can use water. Okay glamazing. I love glamazing. So now I'm going to tap right into um, La La Land, the glitter. And I Look at that. I don't want to do the whole, my whole eyelid okay just the inner corner okay I literally just use my finger and just press it on Oh, look how good that looks. Oh my gosh, I love it. What do you think? And I don't wear glitter eyeshadow at all. But I was like, oh, you know what? Like, let's try something different. Let's go for it. So, there we go. I love it. Okay. Now I'm going to take, um, where is my brush? Okay, here it is. Actually, you can use your finger too. So I'm going to go back in with, um, actually I'm not gonna use Glamazing. So I'm going to use this color here. This is Starlet, okay? So I'm just going to take a little bit and just right under that arch of my eyebrow, okay? This like opens the eye. Like, do you see the difference? There's, it's like a, very subtle pink in here. That's why I like it. Cause it kind of goes with my pink shadow that I got going on today. Look at that. That's so pretty. Now, I don't think I have any fallout. I have a little bit. Where did my brush go? There it is. So I am just going to like clean this up a little bit. Okay. Just clean it up. Okay. Now I'm going to 
go back in with my lighter color. Okay, so this one is white peach and I am literally just brightening under my eyes, okay? Just like that, okay? Do you see like how it kind of hid that like divot? My little semi, it's a bag. I hate saying that word, but yes, I have bags. It's such like a terrible word to say, but it's true, they're bags. We all got them. Just gonna kind of drag it down. And then to kind of lift my eye. Okay, just like that. Now, see that? Now I'm going to go in with my illuminator. So this one is, I'm gonna use the cream illuminator, okay? So this one is, again, it's rose gold. So I'm going to use my, um, my blend brush. I'm gonna use the fluffier end, okay? It's, kind of, it's like brand new, so I kind of have to like dig into it a little bit, I guess. I just want that like subtle glow right here. Okay. You see that? You guys can use the brush. You guys can also use your perfector sponge to put this on, or you can use your finger, however you want. Okay. You see that? It's so pretty. And this is exactly what the perfume looks like too, except it smells like beautifulness. <laughs> okay, you put this on the tip of your nose if you want to. I am gonna go in with a little bit more blush just because I want to. Look at that. So this is Hollywood. And when you do your blush, you really should smile when you do this, sorry. But um, just because you want to stay out of your smile lines, okay? There you go. And then you guys can... Just brighten... The center of my forehead. I don't think I put my brightener there. Because you want the center of your face to be bright. Okay? And I'm just like pushing this in. Just like that. Okay? And then you can go in and like take off any excess product. You can even use, I'm going to use like the butt side. The same side that I had my um, setting spray on. Just because like I'm done my face now. So... And this will set it and still take off like excess. Okay. Just like that. Now, if you guys want to see how to do your lips. So I'm gonna use this brush right here. So it's the line brush, but I had like some like eyeshadow on there because I like did my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna clean it off in here. 
And then I'm gonna go in with my contour color. This one is, this is Astoria. So when you do your lips, I don't line my lips to like for an eyeliner or a lip liner. I just do it to create that shadow. So you wanna go like right above your lip if you want a fuller lip. So right above. Okay. Just like that. And then when you do your bottom lip, okay, so you're gonna do right under your lip, okay? But when you get to the sides, you wanna stay on your actual lip. You don't wanna like overdraw that line. If that makes sense. And then, I need to make up white with some glitter, glitter on my hands. Okay, so you just wanna like, blur that line. Okay, cause you're just, you just want it to look like a shadow. And then you guys can go in with your lip and cheek color. I though, I'm not gonna do that today. So I am like obsessed, obsessed with lip gloss. Okay. And I like, I'm using Buxom Lip Plumping Gloss. Okay, so this color is Brandy. This is like my absolute favorite lip gloss. I actually like this one too. Okay, so I'm like obsessed with Buxom, but I also have this one from Unique and it's actually, I love it. It's just like this clear, but it has like, it's like clear opaly, but it has like, like sparklies in it. I don't know I love it. Don't be sorry. I'm using the lip gloss that I got from you. So I just like put this like over top and I, I love it. I am, I am obsessed. I am obsessed. I love lip gloss. I do like our lip and cheek colors too. So like, um, because I like more of a lip gloss, I put um, our lip and cheek colors on and then I'll put that clear one on like with the shimmer, shimmery in it, whatever you wanna call it. It's really pretty, I love it. Yes, it's so good, I love it. It's definitely, like I got, I actually bought, and I got more coming. <laughs> I am obsessed with Buxom, obsessed. Okay, so I got like, these colors here. This one is, this is Dolly. This is Dolly. And then the one I used is Brandy. And then Ava. So like, I like pinky. I don't know, like I don't like a red, red lip, but um, these are like sheer, so I really like it. So, so that's, that was that. Okay. 
I do that with the lip conditioner. Yeah, I, I love our lip conditioner. Our lip conditioner is so good. So, 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 so good. So, <clears throat> now, it definitely would have taken me a lot less time to do my makeup if I wasn't talking. <laughs> but if you guys are interested in this makeup, please reach out to me. My color match form is in the link of this description box, okay? And, like, you don't have to use, like this big palette that I did. This is actually not even our biggest one. So this one's like the double decker. Okay. So, but I'm going to show you like the sizes that you guys can choose from. Okay. So this one is like the smallest one we have. So it holds four large tins. So it'll hold like your two highlight colors and your contour color, and then a blush or an illuminator or a bronzer, whichever you want. Now, when you get a color match, I'm going to color match you for at least two different highlight colors, okay, and a contour color. So remember, like I put my contour color here, and then like in between, I put the the two highlight colors. They both, all three, work together to create your foundation. So this makeup was designed to just give you one layer of makeup, and that is it. Um. So they, they all three give you coverage. That's why they all make up your foundation. So, and then any of like the lip and cheek colors or the eyeshadows, that's really just for your preference. Um, I can recommend colors though for you if you want. It's totally up to you. But so some people are like, oh, like I don't know if I want this makeup. If you guys don't like it, send it back. You can get your money back, okay? It doesn't hurt to try it. Okay, so you can do that with like this small compact here. So, and as you purchase the makeup, you get a like a credit towards a free compact. So this one holds four, okay, and there's just one layer. So four large tins. There's this one. This one holds uh, eight. So you'll have four on, there's two layers. So four on the top and then four on the bottom, okay? And then this one, I recommend starting with this compact. This one holds 12. So you can fit six large tins on top and six large ones on the bottom. Now, I like this size because it gives you like room to grow. So you can keep your highlight colors, your, your two highlight colors, your contour color, your blush, um, like your lip and cheek color, uh, a powder illuminator, any other like extra that you want. You can do another contour. You can have a different, um, a couple lip and cheek colors. And then your powders down here. You can keep your setting powder and all your eyeshadows. I do recommend though, you keep your eyeshadows separate from your powders. Just because you don't want the powder getting into the creams and like mixing in, you know. So this one holds 12. This one is the one that I recommend starting with. Again, totally up to you. Okay, now this is the same size that I just used. This one's the double decker. So this one holds um, holds 18. So you can fit nine large tins on top, okay, and nine on the bottom, okay? And then once you get addicted to this, just like some people that I know, <laughs> this one holds 27. So you can have nine large tins on the top, nine large in the middle, ready? Third layer, nine large on the bottom. Okay, so your powders, I keep, um, where's mine? Mine's like over across like the way, but like here's like one of my compacts, like so I switched it out. So I have this one, this is three, but then I have my lip and cheek colors and I do have some of our, these are um, our cream eyeshadows and this is an eyeliner. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad you love it. I love our makeup bag. Look, I have, I'll show you guys in a second. So, and then this from my powders, my other one that I use is like across the room, but there's just so many different sizes that you guys can choose from. So I like the bigger one. Like I said, like I like the one, get the one at least that holds 12 because then you have room to grow. Okay. So, and I think that's like perfect. Um, honestly, um, and it's just so good for mature skin. Um, doesn't sit into your fine lines or wrinkles. Um, especially for those, like I'm, oh, I hate to say it, but I'm 37 years old. So um, 
I'm like just at that age where, you know, I'm starting to, I have some age spots and things like that. I, I do have some wrinkles. This makeup is the best makeup hands down for, um, for mature skin. Okay. Because the worst thing that you can put on your face is powder for mature skin. The absolute worst thing that you can do. The second is a liquid foundation. Okay. So think of your face like a sponge. When you put a liquid on top of a sponge, it like soaks it in. It seeps into your pores. It seeps into your wrinkles, like all that gross stuff. You don't want that. <laughs> what happens when you put a cream on top? It literally sits on top. If you put a cream on top of a sponge, it sits right on top. It becomes like a second skin. It's not going to seep into your pores, not going to seep into your wrinkles. Where a powder, it just like enhances all of your fine lines and wrinkles. It does not, it just does not look good. So cream is by far the best thing that you can do for your face. Um... Oh, yeah, I have, so I have, this is mine. We have our like makeup bag, but like I keep, right now I just have like my brushes in there and then I had my compact, but then you can put your setting spray and then whatever else you want. And I like, I always have our makeup remover wipes too. I love these. Now these are a little bit on the pricey side. However, so I'll show you what they look like. Um... Okay, so these are what they look like. You know, they're small. But these will, it's a makeup remover, a cleanser, and a toner in one. And it's it's 50 come in a uh, in a in a case or a jar. So it literally it cleanses your face, it tones it, it removes all of your makeup. It's so much better than like certain like makeup remover wipes. Um, I usually use these, like I got a shower last night, so I started, like my face was already clean, but like I'll use this again, like if I have, um, like if I'm wearing like a lot of, uh, what is it, mascara and stuff just to clean my eyes like better, and then like I'll, so I can cleanse and tone my face right before I do my makeup, so um, that's why I like these. Um, so it saves you so much time, so much money, you know, and then our skincare line is like really, really good. Um, especially if you have, I mean, you can check out all the albums that I have on my page, um, of like real people and even like myself, um, like their results from like acne, um, people who have rosacea or, or anything like this make our skincare line is absolutely amazing. I love our skincare line. I cannot say I have no bad things to say about it. I absolutely love it. Um, okay. Oh, thank you. Um, but yeah, our, our skincare line is like really good. And again, like if you guys are interested in this makeup, reach out to me, fill out my color match form. You guys can shop the website too. The website is also linked in the description box to this video. I just like recommend letting me pick out your highlight colors and your contour colors so that you guys don't run into an issue. Cause like you're gonna look at it. A lot of people look at it and think like, oh, this one's like closest to my skin tone. That's not how this makeup works at all. Okay, but if you want to pick out like any like blushes or eyeshadows, you can even do your contour color. You can even pick that out, that's fine. But um, just felt my color match form and I would love to help you guys. Um, okay, all right, thank you. Um, so yeah, just so just fill out my color match form and then please like and share this video. I would totally appreciate it. I thank you guys so much for being here. Um, if you are new, let me know that you're here. Let me know where you are from. Uh, if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. Um, and yeah, please uh, share my video. I would so appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so, so, so much. I really appreciate it. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks.